Hello, everybody. Hello and welcome. I'm going to wait a moment until people quieten down just a little. I'm Patrick Curran, chair of the JCP program. Uh, really glad to be here and to welcome you to our 15th anniversary party. We were here five years ago for our 10th, 10th anniversary, and we continue to move ahead. Excuse me, I'm going to use my cheat sheet here so I don't forget to mention certain people. Um, so, for 15 years, the JCP has been working with uh, corporations, individuals, nonprofit organizations, Java user groups, and so on, to advance and improve the Java platform. And so, every few years, we like to get together with all of you guys and celebrate and say thank you to you because uh, we would be nothing without you. Java would be nothing without you. So we've invited a number of people who have been influential in uh, Java and the Java community process over the years, and people who've participated uh, in working with the JCP, members of the executive committee, and people who generally have helped us to move forward. It all started 1998 when Sun uh, introduced the JCP, uh, decided that uh, this would need to be a collaborative process. If they tried to do everything by themselves, it would not work, would not be successful. And over the years, we've uh, made a number of changes, and some of the people responsible for those changes are here today. But basically, the process has been one of us adjusting to changes in the world, uh, the way that people do development work, the expectations that people have for the software that they use, uh, the development of open source processes and open source licensing and so on. And uh, over the years, of course, we've produced many, many JSRs and uh, have advanced the three Java platforms, Java SE, Java ME, and Java EE, uh, very significantly. So we're still working on this. We're still working on changing stuff. We have a number of JSRs that we have worked on in the past few years and continue to work on we call jcp.next collectively. And these are all about increasing transparency, increasing openness, and making it easier for people to participate. And not just the big corporations, which is the way it was in the beginning, but uh, regular folks like uh, most of you. In particular, a big embrace for Java user groups. And when I say that, let me say thank you to the Silicon Valley Java user group for agreeing to co-host this with us would not be so much fun if you guys uh, weren't here and bringing your grassroots uh, influence to bear. So I want to just take a few moments to, to recognize some of the people who are here or we expect to be here, uh, people who have been influential in uh, Java and the Java community process, starting, of course, with the grandfather of it all, James Gosling. Thank you, James. I'm glad you could be here. <coughs> Need no introduction from me. <clears throat> George Paolini, I'm not sure he's here yet, but George was responsible for defining the JCP in the very beginning. Basically, for, for figuring out how the JCP could be more than just Sun, saying we need to bring in these other people, even if they are Sun's competitors, IBM and HP and Oracle and all of these other folks. So George will be here hopefully a little later. Uh, Rob Jingle is here, I know. Rob was... I guess responsible for making the step from just corporations to corporations and individuals and the open source community. I'm sure that gave you some gray hairs the way it is still giving me gray hairs, but we're still working on this. And so long as we're working on it, that's good, I guess. Uh, my predecessor, which I think was your successor, Ono Kloit, uh, again, is supposed to be here, but it doesn't seem to be here right now. But uh, Ono was chair of the JCP for several years and uh, was responsible for handing it over to me. Uh, did so just before the whole Apache thing came to a head and did not tell me what he was getting me into. Uh, I was foolish enough not to study it up beforehand, so, well, I deserve what I get. Uh, I want to mention Bill Shannon. Bill is here somewhere. Very senior engineer at uh, Sun and now Oracle. And, uh, long-time supporter of standardization in the JCP. Thank you, thank you, Bill. And Vinit, Vinit Gupta is here too. Uh, tough sales guy, but uh, always used to uh, emphasize the importance of uh, JCP and standards and so on. 
We also have several former members of the PMO. The PMO is the administrative arm of the JCP. Uh, before I mention the former members, I want to mention Heather, Heather Van Cura, who is the manager of the PMO, uh, the person responsible for putting this and all our other amazing parties together. And uh, life would be much left, less fun without Heather. <clears throat> Uh, we have also some former PMO members here, Aaron Williams, I don't know if Aaron is here, haven't seen him yet, Liz Kinnear and Nancy Williams. And uh, then current members of the PMO, we have uh, Harold Ogle, uh, I don't know where Harold is, but those of you who are spec leads. Um, uh, oh, okay, Harold is uh, working with Duke to bring Duke in. Um, but Harold is the guy who helps all the spec leads out with the work that they do. There is Naoko, uh, who uh, does a lot of work. Naoko is at the front desk and does a lot of work behind the scenes, but thank you, Naoko. And um, Harold Naoko, Joe. Uh, Joe Stremp is uh, our webmaster. He's again at the front, and he's the guy who keeps jcp.org up and running. When it goes down, it's not Joe's fault. It's because Oracle IT says we have to install a patch or whatever. Okay, so that's it for the, the credits and so on. Thank you all for coming. I um, want you to raise your glasses to celebrate the JCP in 15 years. We have a cake at the back, uh, which I think we're going to cut shortly. Uh, Duke is going to be coming. Duke is getting changed, I guess, but uh, he'll be here in a moment. Um, the... We'll give you access to the Revolution exhibit, which I think is upstairs. You can't come to the History Museum without going to see that. Uh, plus, of course, you go see the uh, difference engine. Yes, I'm sorry. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So uh, we're doing some recordings here, particularly those people that I mentioned who are people of part of history. We'll ask you to come and share some thoughts. But anybody else who has something that they would like to contribute, we encourage you to come up and... Uh, Stephen Chin will uh, broadcast your thoughts to the, to the known universe. Uh, the, Revo the Revolution exhibit will be open 7.30, 7.45 or so, so you can take advantage of the fact that we are in the Computer History Museum. And uh, if you stick around, we're going to have a raffle. When is the raffle? Okay, before the exhibit's open. Uh, so if you're here, you may have a chance to win something wonderful. I forget what it is. And then if you're still here and if you remember, we'll give you a little goodie bag when you leave. So probably too much talking for me, so now I'm going to stop. Once again, thank you, and I'll see you here in five years' time for the 20th anniversary of the JCP. Anybody who wants to come and share your favorite memories, we also have um, some 10-year Java books that you can have if you come up and talk to Stephen Chin. You can have one of those. And Duke will be here at 7 o'clock. So you can get your picture taken with Duke. Um, the back of the room by the banner, the 15-year banner. And cake at 7.30. They're nice books. Fans been saving those for four years. Special, Special occasions such as this. So thanks for coming. Come up and talk to me and Steven. Put you on night hacking. Thanks, Steven. Thanks.